Okay, now way back in the midst of time, I did a tutorial where I created an HTML pa an HTML table and I styled it using CSS. Um, and we've just created a dynamic table which has been used, which we u which we used PHP to dynamically create a table. Now, what I want to do is just sort of take a, a step back through time and go back to the CSS and the HTML and show how CSS can be used to style up a PHP table in exactly the same way that you can start up the HTML. Now the trick here is to realize that when PHP sends through information to your browser it's sending through HTML, it's auto-generating that HTML. So as, as far as the, the HTML, as far as the browser is concerned um, you know the view page source, this sort of thing, actually what did I do wrong there? I had too long, I should have put a, a magic line in here. Uh, save that there. This is just me being OCD. View page source. There we go. That's me. OCD. So it doesn't. It, as far as the browser is concerned, there's no difference between this PHP generated HTML and the original HTML that we had back in our CSS and HTML tutorials. So what I'm going to do now is just go back through time. Um, and what was it? Basic HTML. Now take our table from there, and we're going to take our style from there as well. Copy those. Then we're going to go into ZAMP, go into ZAMP, and just paste these in here. So that's table. And now just go to localhost. Should be localhost table HTML. Save that. There we go. We got um, that's our old table from before. Now what what am I going to do? Uh, I think the best thing is we're going to take this table and we're going to copy it and call it PHP table. What am I going to do? Yeah, we'll take this and we'll call it PHP table. We'll, we'll, um, where am I going now? Yeah, we'll go here. I'm just thinking out loud here. Go here, computer, C. We're going to go to ZAMP. ZAMP, htdocs. Um... Where's our table? Table, 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 tables down. Where the hell's our table? Localhost table HTML. Oh god, sort this name thing up. There's our table. Um Yeah, we'll we'll open this with with gedit. And then we'll say file save as this is table HTML, we'll call it table table PHP right this is going to be fiddly I admit to this already now as I said before one of the best things about the echo command is it can echo out exactly what you've had before so we'll start this, this is showing how you can use PHP to generate just about any sort of HTML you want, then you get echo HTML and obviously you're going to have to close off the echo here and close off the PHP there now this it's okay but the only problem is you've got lots of these things here lots of your equality not equality lots um inverted commas uh, quotation marks um and obviously the problem here is that it's going to jump in and out of php mode as you have these so what you need to do there is you need to escape from them and to do that you use the slash there so now it's going to ignore these quotation marks and the good thing about using gedit is you can tell by the color whether it's working or not. So we're just putting put in all these here. Put in all those there. Da -da -da -da. Deep dot. Deep dot. It's like it's good fond memories from like two weeks ago of when I did these. And this is quite useful when you just want to create some kind of something that looks like HTML but isn't. You want to fool the browser into thinking that you're using HTML, even though you're using PHP. Um, now this should work. So we've got table PHP. We're going to save that there. Ja, ja, ja. And now if we go back to Firefox and do localhost. There we go. It comes out with exactly the same thing. So we've now got a PHP document. And if we right click on this, a view page source, there you go, it comes out as exactly the same, except we've passed it using PHP. Uh, now the good thing about this is we can take out that table and we can, because 
we've got our basic array table there. So we've got table PHP there. Table PHP there using our static table that we created before. And we can take the static table out and we can replace it using this caboodle that we did there. So I'm going to go in here, take out table. Where's table? Take out table. Um, and we'll, call, we'll give it a different title. What the title is the greatest films of all time. Da -da 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 -da. Because of course they are. And anyone that disagrees with me just shouldn't be working in IT because they're obviously not geeky enough. Um, yeah, we're taking that out and we're just going to copy that and put in... Now, I did something... There. Now, think about this. This is all going to be output as HTML, whereas this is still PHP. So you want to be taking your PHP, copying that, and sticking it in the PHP part. See, this is how you mix up PHP and HTML, and you've just got to be quite careful and think about which bits are which. So that's all sort of pure PHP, if you want to call it that. And this is HTML that's been auto-generated. Um, so we can actually take out all those echo marks. Can't I'm just this is getting confusing a little bit now. I've got to think carefully. Um, actually, what I think I'll do is I'll close off that echo mark. Right, just to keep things simple, I'll, I'll close off this echo here with that, and I'll create a new echo. There's going to be lots of echo. It's probably not the tidiest way of doing it, but this is probably the most fail-safe. So we've just closed off our echo things here, and now we can just copy, copy that there, and stick that in. And this should all just once again the colors. Look at the colors. Make sure they're all the same, and that should work. So save that there. And I'll go back to table, and this should come out with our wonderful films. How brilliant is that? That's absolutely fantastic. <laughs> uh, so there we go. We've, we've shown how to take what was a dynamic page and turn it, it sort of convert it into a, a, what was a static page and convert it into a dynamic page. And we've got the same sort of um, styling that we had before from HTML and CSS. And we've applied that styling to, to, to dynamic content. And if you go back here and look at this, you can see which bits are dynamic and which bits are static and, and how to sort of tinkle around and tinkle with those. Um, but yeah, I mean, that, that shows how to create a dynamic table and dynamic content um, and style it up in exactly the same way that you do with, with static content um, and how to, how to mix the two up. Obviously, you change Tim Berners-Lee there. You could change, a lot, change, change the menu, but this is just for demonstration purposes. And I hope that's been a useful demonstration of the differences between static and um, dynamic pages and how to generate HTML with PHP.